Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make Fessenjun, which is a walnut and pomegranate-based vegetable stew. Okay, for the stew, we're first gonna blend the sauce, and that is mainly made of pomegranate juice and walnuts. And this is just my take on this particular dish. The original dish is made with the actual pomegranates, but sometimes they use a pomegranate syrup. And we're trying not to use refined sugars, so we're gonna sweeten with dates. So we're gonna get our sauce going. And if you see, this is, walnuts are great. And if you look at them really close, they kind of look like a brain, right? So that's, they're really good brain food. So we're just gonna Pop those in to the blender with our dates and our pomegranate juice. And this is just palm pomegranate juice that you can get at just about any supermarket. If you can't find the palm juice, you can. Um, they may have another type of pomegranate juice in the juice aisle. You just have to look at the, uh, the ingredients really closely because sometimes they add sugar or other ingredients and you really just want the pomegranate juice. So this is about one liter's worth of pomegranate juice. And we're just going to, whoops, forgot to add the onions. This is two whole onions. And the complete recipe will be in the link in the details below. We're just gonna blend this until it's really creamy looking. While we're waiting on that, I'd like to share with you some exciting things we're working on here on the show. We now offer a new course, 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy. We made this course to teach you everything you need to know to successfully transition to a whole food plant-based diet. So if you're trying to make the switch and want step-by-step -step guidance, this is the course for you. We also offer three membership levels in our Plant-Based Made Easy community. Our basic free membership is free for life, and it's a great way to stay in the loop on what we're creating. If you want to be more directly involved in supporting our efforts, our Heroes membership is $5 a month, and you get added perks like your name in the credits and discounts on our products. If you really love everything we make, then our Legends membership is $15 a month and includes free access to all of our digital products, including our new 28-day course, our growing line of printable cookbooks, wholesale discounts on our branded apparel, and named credit in the show. Be sure to head over to our official website at plantbasedcookingshow.com to browse through hundreds of our original recipes, tips, and resources on plant-based living. Okay, back to the show. Okay, there's our sauce. We're just gonna set it aside here and I'm gonna get my pot ready so that we can add our other ingredients. Okay, so I've got my pot ready and I'm just gonna pour this into the pot. And then we'll pour our other ingredients into that sauce. And firstly, what I have here are some sweet potatoes. So this is one medium to large sweet potato that I just chunked up in bite-sized pieces, just like that. And then we have a whole package, one pound package of frozen spinach. You can also use fresh, but I feel like it just takes so much fresh spinach to make this amount of frozen spinach because it's already lightly blanched that you get more spinach if you use the frozen spinach bag. All that nice healthy greenness in there. And our protein that's going in it is tempeh, which some of you may not be familiar with. Tempeh is uh, soybeans that are fermented. It has a culture in there that ferments um, so that the soybeans are really digestible and they're super healthy because it's more like a probiotic. And I'll show you what it looks like here. Just gonna cut it out of the package. It's a very, it's kind of a strong flavor, so it's kind of an acquired taste, but I think you're gonna be surprised with the pomegranate and the dates, the sweetness, 
uh, and the tartness of the pomegranate matched with the bitterness of the tempeh, it's just a perfect balance. So this is what it looks like, if you can see. And sometimes it gets a little darker coloring, but that is really just the culture that's in it. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just starting to age a little bit or cure a little bit more. So I'm just gonna cube this up into little cubes, just like the same size or maybe a little bit smaller than the sweet potatoes and we'll get it right in. Okay, and what I have here is two cups of vegetable broth. That's just gonna add even more nutrition. And then I have nutmeg, turmeric, and cinnamon. And we're just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of each. Nutmeg, you have to be kind of careful because it's a really strong flavored spice, but it's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon you're gonna use. The same with the cinnamon. You're not gonna use very much cinnamon. Just a pinch. And then the turmeric, it's more, maybe closer to a half a teaspoon of turmeric. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of Bragg's liquid amino acids, but you could also use uh, tamari or a low sodium soy sauce. Okay, so we're gonna get this cooking on medium high and we're gonna let it cook until it gets nice and thickened up, which takes anywhere from a half an hour to about 45 minutes. So let's get that cooking. Okay guys, I wish you could smell this right now, but at least you can come in and take a look. So I did leave this on for the full 45 minutes and it's thick and creamy and delicious. Oh, it smells so good. This is actually uh, one of our first videos that we did you know, a few years ago. And if you wanna check that out, you can check that out. It's a really cute skit of our family. Um, we really love zombie shows, so we did a little skit on a zombie episode using this recipe. So if you wanna check it out, it's pretty funny. But right now, we need to taste. So I have some wild rice here. You know I love my wild rice. It's my favorite kind. It's just so thick and nutty and chewy. I'll just add some here. I really hope you guys try this out. It's so different and unusual, but it's so delicious and good for you. Mmm. So good. You're gonna love it, and I'll see you next time.